hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so uh, we will continue our discussion with uh, the subject of optoelectronics uh, devices and systems and uh, in the previous video we discussed uh, some of the basic concepts related to electromagnetic spectrum in short from the point of view of opto electronics devices and systems and I told you that uh, in the next video we will discuss about the frequency range or the wavelength range in the electromagnetic spectrum which is used in optical communication systems so we discuss that uh, just to have a quick uh, uh, you know uh, look at the basic things that all communication systems they use some portion or some form of electromagnetic energy for the transmission and reception of signals for example microwave communication radio wave communication be it wireless or wired form of communication anything so the important part or the important factor here in this communication system involving any portion of the electromagnetic spectrum is the electromagnetic waves now this is the basic representation of the electromagnetic waves which consists of vibrating or oscillating electric and magnetic field vectors in mutually perpendicular directions and these vectors are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the electromagnetic wave okay and here the wavelength and frequency of the electromagnetic signals it is it is very important because categorization is done on the basis of range of wavelengths or range of frequencies to divide the whole electromagnetic you know, electromagnetic signals into various categories such as radio waves microwaves infrared waves near infrared waves visible ultraviolet x rays and gamma rays so these are the basic categorization with the uh, frequency range and wavelength range now the important question here is which of these you know bands or these range of frequencies or wavelengths is suitable for optical communication system and is there any such further categorization within that specific band as well so that is the important question so here the topic of optical spectral bands comes into play now in the optoelectronics communication or the fiber optics communication as it is called the optical communication system it utilizes the wavelengths and frequencies around the near infrared uh, band okay this not exactly this somewhere around this okay some portion of this so this near infrared band is very important from the point of view of optical communication system and the wavelength range is from 770 to 1675 nanometers so this wavelength range is very important from the point of view of optical communication systems why it is that we will discuss it in a separate video because uh, that will involve a lot of concepts as well so if we mix up all of them it will become a little bit confusing so i'm not going into the why now i'm just going about the basic concepts related to the optical spectral bands okay so this is the important wavelength range now again as i said the question was again is there any sub categorization within this specific band so the international telecommunications union itu has further divided the you know, the the the, the uh, this near infrared or this uh, wavelength range which is allotted to optical communication systems further into six spectral bands okay which is used for 
optical communication systems okay so they are called as o e s c l and u bands okay so this wavelength range this band is further divided into six spectral bands now what are the names of this band what is the significance okay let us discuss them as well so these six spectral bands it is their name the the designation which is used and the spectrum the wavelength range so the o band actually is the original band okay that is the original name of the band original band o band and the wavelength range is from 1260 to 1360 nanometer <coughs> then we have is the e band which is called as the extended band that is the name of the e band which is extended band and the wavelength range is from 1360 to 1460 nanometer then we have the s band which is the short band the wavelength range is from 1460 to 1530 nanometer then we have the c band which is the conventional band the wavelength range from 1530 to 1565 nanometer then we have is the long band the l band which is the 1565 nanometers to 1625 nanometers the wavelength range and then we have the u band which is the ultra long band which is 1625 to 1675 nanometer so this entire wavelength range up to 1675 is divided into six spectral bands an important thing to notice here is that the 770 to 1260 there is no specific designation for that range okay 770 to 1260 there is no specific designation in terms of uh, the spectral band designation for that so these are the general Spect spectral bands designation which is given for opto electronics communication systems so the all the important things here is that associated with uh, this uh, optical communication because of the signals that are used is the energy of signals so the energy of all the signals as we have already discussed in various other uh, subjects related to signals is that Uh, the energy of the signals so the energy of uh, the signals within this uh, six spectral bands defined by their uh, wavelengths or the frequencies can be given by the planck's law which is uh, given as e is equal to h nu the nu is the frequency h is planck's constant and uh, if uh, we have to represent this energy in terms of wavelength then we can use the formula lambda uh, by t is equal to c or lambda nu is equal to c which we have discussed in the previous video where c is the speed of light in uh, vacuum which is 310 to the power 8 meter per second so if we use that formula and we substitute mu with that okay then we will get this the energy in terms of wavelength and the unit of energy here will be electron volt and the value will be 1.2406 by lambda and the unit of lambda the wavelength should be in terms of micrometer okay so <clears throat> these are some of the basic concepts related to the electromagnetic spectrum especially for the optical communication system which is the near infrared uh, wavelength range out of which this wavelength range is important and the further categorization of this uh, optical communication wavelength into various bands and their the necessary information associated with it so in the upcoming videos we'll discuss some more concepts related to optical communication systems and fiber optics and opto electronic uh, communication so i hope you like this video
and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much